from All Seeing Eye Tarot, here with your monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Gemini, sun, moon, and rising for the month of November 2018. <laughs> Gemini, I see you, Gemini. Let me tell you, this is probably the spiciest reading I've ever had for Gemini, because I don't never see Gemini involved in some shit, but I see it now, Linda. Okay, so I already shuffled and laid the cards, and of course I beat the cards now so I can understand what's going on, okay? So, this is the story for the month of November. This is any messages. This is the confirmation, because if you look, it's the same fucking cards as here, pretty much. Okay, so anyway, Gemini, I have the King of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups. Now here we got the Empress and the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. And the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the King of Cups. Okay, Linda. So listen to this. This is crazy. Sometimes, you know, I look at the design and I'm obsessed with the way that spirit works the design and how if one zodiac sign, you know, like if it's if if spirit is in air. It's all through air, you know, all the air signs are dealing with something and it's usually within the same zodiac signs, you know. Um, okay, so anyway, let me just break it down. I am looking at uh, those Geminis that may be legally married. Gemini, if you're legally married and your husband happens to be uh, Aries or Sagittarius, then there's pain here, honey. And what I mean by pain, it looks like he has two children coming in, one by the King of Cups, which probably is Pisces or Scorpio. I got the Queen of Cups up there. So it's probably Pisces. The King of Cups is here. Okay. That's one. And then it looks like there's a brand new baby that's coming in by the King of Pentacles. So whereas, um, what was I reading? Um, what was it? What was it? Shit. Give me one second, guys. Where I was, I think I was reading Pisces. Where I was reading Pisces that may have hooked up with a fire sign. It looked like the fire sign was going after the earth sign. But now that I'm in Gemini, it looks like the Gemini is already in relation. This is the person that they're going after, the King of Cups. Okay. Now, if you happen to uh, be in, you know, um, married to this Gemini, okay, and if you happen to be married, let me let me get, get my thoughts together because this shit is so confusing. If you happen to be married to this uh, Gemini, if, you, if you're a Gemini and you happen to be married to an Aries or Sagittarius, it looks like they are the ones that have these two women that are standing in the middle, okay. This is a long standing. So this might be that they already had a child on you in your marriage one, you know, once before with a, a Pisces or a Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio. Either one, doesn't matter. Okay? They had a baby already by this person, but then now it looks like they got a brand new baby that's on the way. Okay? With a uh, Capricorn Taurus. I hope that makes sense. I hope I didn't confuse you because this shit is really, really trippy, okay? And if you were to ask me, okay, so which way is he leaning towards? It looks like your, if it's a Aries or Sagittarius, they're leaning towards the uh, water sign. If you're a Gemini. Now, if you're a Libra, because I had Libra pop up too. If you're a Libra, then, and you're with a Sagittarius, a Sagittarius or a... Uh, Aries, then they're leaning towards the water, I mean the earth sign, the Capricorn Taurus. It's fucking crazy. So I must be speaking to those of you that may be a Gemini sun sign and your rising is in Libra. You get it now? Because this is the same story that is in Libra. In Sagittarius. Okay? In Aries or whatever. So anyway. 
Back to the culprit. All right, so let me just get my thoughts together because this shit is literally all over the place and this is really challenging me. All right, so um, I feel like if I'm speaking to men Gemini, okay, let's say I'm talking to a, a male Gemini, it kind of seems to me that you're in a relationship right now, male Geminis, with a water sign. That's Cap, uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. That's your main person. That's your wife. Okay. However, you didn't already had a child by this King of Pentacles. This is this. You already had a baby by this person. All right. You already have children by the King of Pentacles. But then it looks like there's a second suitor on board, which happens to be a fire sign. Now this fire sign is accusing you of a pregnancy. This is the second time that you've been accused. Well, this is the second time, second pregnancy in the middle of your marriage. You see how twisted that shit is? So I'm trying not to like get caught up because this is so fucking, I've never seen this much energy in the Zodiac sign of Gemini because it's not a Gemini thing to do. Okay. But with just this vertex coming around, it's really going to shake shit up for earth signs and air. Okay, we got an ear vertex that's going to hit. You're going to feel the pre-vertex at the end of November and into December and January. You know, the beginning of the year, it's really going to get spicy. Okay, a lot of you are going to be, you know, breaking out of your marriages, breaking free, getting involved with karmic soulmates, that sort of energy. Okay, so if you are a Gemini and you're married to a, a, a water sign, you could expect that this relationship by the beginning of the year, this will sever, okay? And then you'll be in relations with this Capricorn Taurus. This is who you'll be in relations with because this is your karmic soulmate. Whereas you'll be pushing this person away. Aries Sagittarius, okay? So you'll be devastating them. You see how I have to... It's split because it's either I'm talking to the men or I'm talking to the women, and it, it, it's, it's the same story, but it's flipped around. It's like the shoe is on the other foot. Very, very confusing shit. Very confusing. In the event you're a single Gemini, you don't have nobody. You're not in a relationship. Then you're probably talking to different people that are in the middle of this story right now. Okay, so if you've been talking to somebody, you're like, Bella, I don't have nobody. I'm single, but I've been talking to this person that lives such and such, you know. Then did you check the script and see if he was married? Because if he is, he's in the middle of this shit, this story. Okay, you got somebody pregnant, something like that. Okay, he has someone pregnant, got two different people, already fucked up in his marriage once, and now you got another person pregnant, and then you come on the scene. Okay. He's not available. He kind of fell back a little bit. He fell back because he got all this energy that's happening because we're moving into this vertex. Very simple story, but very direct and to the point. Let's read that intimacy. It says your vulnerability is the key to your growing spirituality. Now is the time to share yourself openly without pretense or defensiveness. Let down the barriers that have held you apart from another, from the divine, from the world, and let yourself be held by the experiences of your life without needing to defend against them. Because this is, I'm telling you, this is not a Gemini fucking story. Gemini usually fly by the radar. They're usually laid back. They don't get in the middle of this shit. So to see that the vertex is shaking Gemini up, I'm like, oh shit, Linda. Thank God I ain't with no goddamn, you know, uh, earth sign or air sign. Because it's, it's really going to shake up. Gemini has gotten a foot there on the map. Okay. It says, expect nothing and be open to receive everything. Your vulnerability is your way forward now. You are learning that you have enough strength to truly surrender. You are brave enough to allow yourself to be truly lived by the divine. The message of this oracle is that you have recently opened yourself up in new ways to meet the world and your loved ones or are considering doing so in order to share something of yourself with another. Do it. You are ready to be seen and received more than ever before. 
I'm telling you, this ain't this ain't Gemini shit. Okay, it says becoming one, allowing all that is, both within and without, to blend. Like a wave meeting the shore, each aspect of who you are is part of a grander whole, and in truth, yet greater still. To know myself is to know you. Whether I look in your eyes or touch your lips or hold your hands or bathe in the warmth of our embrace. I'm telling you, you know why they're doing this to Gemini? Because Gemini has the hardest time settling down. They are so fickle. They're not people that you usually see married or stable. Okay. Gemini is usually married very late in life. They like to play the field. They don't like to commit to too much shit. Okay. And it's, it's like spirit is grabbing you up. And they're saying it's time to shine. No longer will you do things the way that you've been doing things. You are a Gemini. And it's time for people to understand who you are. Understand how you get down. You understand? Hit me up. I'll sing at tarot at gmail.com. Take advantage of special 50 right now. Okay? Because I know a lot of you Gemini is going to be like, hold up. I don't never get in shit like this. What the fuck is happening in November? You know? So you might need to come in and let's talk about it. Let's talk about what's going on in your sign with this vertex. All right. Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Timestamp. Share it. Whatever. I love you much. Until next time. Thank you, Gemini.